Okay, our topic for today is about Cloud Storage Manager. So, the Cloud Storage Manager that I use is a mall cloud. So, you can register here at www.moldcloud.com. So, that's your first step register so they have a, a this cloud uh, I'll show you the features features yeah saying so you can visit this website for additional information and then th this is their pricing okay let's go to the topic so first you can go to package center if you don't have a uh, installed uh, web tab so uh, let's check web tab oh. so i already installed the web tab so if you don't have a web tab just click the package center search for web tab then install so, then open it so I already enabled the HTT the two, the HTTP and the HTTPS, and the fourth is five zero zero five and five zero zero six. So I uh, it's recommend to use the HTTPS. So I'll, this port I already for I already port forward this port in my router. So you can customize your port based on your demands. So okay after that click apply so since already done and then you can go to control panel go to external access DDNS so I already have a service provider host name external address already configured here but if you don't have so just click add then service provider so I get so I use the Synology and then your host name you type your host name you want email or if you do if you if you want to put a password key it's up to you and then so this is my DDNS host name so so I'll already configure again my port is already port forward in my router and then so let's go to mult cloud then click to add cloud so since our topic is dash to google drive so using web dub this is using web dub again so via web dub nash so i type my ddns ah wait i forget i think okay and then the port i use then the username of your Synology Nash. Then the password. Then click add account. So the Nash is already here. Okay. Then second is my cloud storage which is the Google Drive so okay, I click this uh, I use the then click just click allow okay so now uh, I will show you the one feature one feature one of the features 
of mold cloud so i'm using the cloud storage so it's almost the same process like team transfer cloud save cloud backup so i will use this cloud transfer so since already add this nash and this google drive so let's use the cloud transfer feature actually uh, if you if you subscribe on this plan like limited data unlimited data you can use this schedule okay and you can you can and there's additional like sub account that's it so so for now uh, if you explore the mold cloud once you try this so for now i will use the transfer and if the target file exists please choose an action so i skip the file once once it detect there's a existing files so it's it skip okay so let's click here so i will show you okay so i think um, wait Thirteen. Okay, this is the files that is still not backed up in the cloud. So again, if you subscribe to to this plan, limited data, just like this, it's automatic. You have a schedule backup. Okay, so okay okay i this is from so from my nas to google drive so i click to google drive and then i save it to aims okay so let's click transfer so you can see here in the task list so let's wait you can use the web uh, you, you can use the web dub you can use the what you call this the FTP so it's up to you so for now this in this tutorial we're using the web dump of synology nas